Okay, this is part two of our Blender 2.8 texturing series, advanced texturing series, and uh, uh, we left off uh, trying to get the dimensions of uh, this uh, real world scale of these objects. Uh, so I want to first get uh, the average height of a, of a train station. So train, train station uh, height. Maybe ceiling height. Uh, is it that? I don't know if ceiling height. And also platform height. Uh, maybe let me just get average <coughs> human height. Because I want to keep everything to world scale as I'm doing this so this is about five feet feet to meters uh, it's very important to have these measurements right mostly if you're going to be sharing uh, your assets with other people that might you want to use them and uh, since I sell 3d models on uh, on CD trader I uh, that's why I'm doing this and uh, yeah it, um, I'm also going to be sharing this with my patreon so yeah again if you want uh, to get the project files that uh, we are going to be working on, you can just go to my Patreon page and uh, uh, download them directly there. I'll be leaving a link in the description, or you can find it uh, in the on my YouTube channel, bonus, where you see the links there, th that uh, they should be there. Uh, the other thing I usually like doing is find a human silhouette. Human sil silhouette. Uh, why is this opening? Human silhouette, <coughs> and uh, just again for scale reference. So let me get uh, this one here. And so we see that uh, this is about uh, point three meters. Is it point three? Average human height is about five feet. Five feet, which is one meter, and. Uh, half a meter so I'll just drag the let me find a PNG maybe a PNG image transparent Tra uh, transparent just for reference in our work let me see uh, it's not transparent Yeah, this is so I'll save this and uh, drag it into Blender. It's a bit fainted, but I think it's still visible, so I can just use that. And uh, I can come in here and uh, get, let's see if we have this. So it's uh, the average human height is uh, about where was it uh, 1.5 uh, meters. So so um, uh, let me measure this We're using the ruler tool. Uh, I can just drag. So that is two meters, which is way too big for our scene. <coughs> so one meter, 1.5 is about there so we can scale this down and uh now we can be sure that uh, uh this is the real world scale uh, we want uh, to have and uh, so <coughs> then <coughs> we can uh, bring this as a background image here so let me uh, find it i think it's uh, this here uh, bring it in into our scene and uh, we can use uh, the person in this image as a as a reference point like this so we just need to scale them uh, to the height of of the body uh, but because of perspectiveness uh, then uh, this would be more that more they would be more tall taller than uh, 
the, the sh okay, we can just average the height of this beam uh, with the with the reference images we have here. So maybe <coughs> around uh, this height. Let's see, let's see around this height. So our beam would have to be this at all here. So let's add a mesh, a cube, or scale it down. Now I can uh, go to edit mode, then scale, pull these vertices up here. And I think uh, that is roughly uh, the height we should go for. Maybe it's a bit higher. And uh, so this can be, let's measure this height and see. So it's around uh, 2.5 meters, 2.3 meters, uh, which is I think good enough. So let's just uh, start working on this. So we can hide this background image and uh, our reference images. We don't need them anymore uh, because we have got the measurements. And uh, now let's start modeling this and then texture it. As I said <coughs> in the beginning of this series, uh, this is going to be mainly focusing on uh, uh, texturing in Blender. Uh, so we're not going to focus too much on the models. So, and I'm going to be modeling this uh, mod in modules uh, so that we can put it together. Uh, just, you'll see what I'm doing. So uh, let's uh, model one of these uh, support beams. Uh, so I'll just go to edit mode and uh, make these edges rounded. So I'll select uh, these four edges. So you can hi hold on shift and uh, select uh, the edges you want and then use control B or just use uh, the, the bevel icon here, the bevel tool there to add the bevel. And now we can go to the settings here and add uh, two more seg segments like that. I don't want to have a lot of uh, detail there. So I'll just keep it to this and uh, so I think this is good enough. And again, since this is a texturing tutorial, not a modeling tutorial, I think this is good enough. And uh, we can start mod uh, adding textures uh, to this uh, in part two, in part three of our tutorial. So let me save this project. Again, if you want this project, you can find it on my Patreon page and uh, you can start from there or examine what I've done from there. So called new mm, train station. Okay, so I'll see you in the next part.